now, this is an ABC Action News Update. Good evening, I'm Jasmine Stiles. Meteorologist Jason Adams will have your forecast in a bit, but first, here's your ABC Action News Update. We're waiting for officials to determine how Brian Laundrie died. Crews found his remains more than a month after he was last seen. On Wednesday, law enforcement found the remains in a part of Myakahatchee Creek Environmental Park. It had been flooded previously. A day later, the FBI said it used dental records to confirm those remains were Brian's. The Laundry family attorney says Brian's parents went to the park to search for their son after it reopened to the public this week and Brian's parents located his belongings. The FBI said authorities found a backpack and notebook belonging to Brian. Probably a paper notebook. Uh, if that were the case and it was underwater, right now what's happening is the FBI is very, very carefully drying that out and will not open it uh, for fear of damaging any contents until they've got it dried. Kinsel says now that we know Brian is dead, answers in the Gabby Petito case may be limited. Brian remains the only person of interest in his fiance's disappearance and death. We'll continue following the latest developments with all aspects of this case. You can download the ABC Action News app to get breaking news alerts sent straight to your phone. On Saturday, people all over the country cleared out their medicine cabinets for National Drug Take Back Day. It's an anonymous program designed to get old and unused drugs out of the hands of the wrong people. For the last 10 years, the Drug Enforcement Agency says they've collected and destroyed more than 14 million pounds of pills. Now let's check in with meteorologist Jason Adams. Today we saw a record high temperature, 91 degrees in Tampa. We will not get there tomorrow, but close to it. So near record highs expected again, but I think a little more added cloud cover should at least keep us into the 80s versus the lower 90s. And unfortunately, we have a better chance to see a few showers, maybe even an isolated thunderstorm, and that will coincide with the timing of kickoff here at Raymond James Stadium for the uh, Bucks game. So we'll be watching the radar very closely for you later on to the afternoon. It's not going to be a washout, but that chance of rain does pick up later to the afternoon and evening. Jasmine. Thanks, Jason. That wraps up your ABC Action News update. The news continues on air and online at abcactionnews.com.